Welcome back to your daily news, but without the libtard propaganda, I'm your host, Tardvark. Far-right Harry Potter video game designer raged at feminists and social justice warriors on YouTube. The rainbow community is angry because this guy had moderately right-wing views, and his former self from many years ago had an anti-SJW YouTube channel, and now libtards are trying to get him fired for the views he held years ago. Luckily, the company is standing behind him, and now, because the company is standing behind him, I for sure will buy this game. And diversity is our strength news. Two-year-old punched in the face by Panhandler on Manhattan subway. A woman with her young two-year-old child was in the subway, and a homeless piece of shit was all up in her grill, and she politely asked him, or her, Will you please get back? We need to separate by six feet. And this homeless woman, enraged that someone would dare ask her not to be in her face, violently started punching at this woman. And while she was punching at the woman, she hit the two-year-old in the face several times. And now if you read this article, race isn't mentioned. And all I have to say about that is Coulter's Law. Slavery ended over 130 years ago. Former NFL player Herschel Walker says black Americans shouldn't get reparations. He's basically saying get the fuck off for it because no other country treats you better than our country and you have no better life than the life you have here. So get the fuck over it. We don't owe you shit. You're not thanking me for freeing you so you can't punish me for enslaving you. <laughs> In France... Another diversity is our strength story. An immigration officer was stabbed to death by an illegal immigrant who was getting deported. Brought this on yourself, France. Why your swipes on Hinge and OK Cupid might be racist. What this shit tier author is trying to say is that you shouldn't be allowed to, on any dating app, have a racial preference because having a racial preference is racist. Now, if you're gay, it's not heterophobic to sort by gay. But if you're white, it is racist to sort by white. They're making the argument that because black women are the least selected on these dating apps, it's because of racism, systematic racism, and it's unfair. And you know, a normal person would see a group of people who's finishing in last place and critique them, give them constructive criticism on how to become more desirable. But we don't live in reality where normal things should happen or normal things could happen. We live in the retard reality where the least desirable group of people gets to complain about racism instead of becoming a better group of people. Kentucky officer fired for feeding Black Lives Matter leader information during the summer protest. Now, you'll never guess the race of this cop. You'll just never guess the race of the cop. Oh, weird. This specific article doesn't show the race of the cop. What a fucking traitor. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, mysterious metal monolith destroyed by mob. Because when you're hopping on a fun trend that everyone is enjoying, of course an African nation, known for their intelligence and their peacefulness, would destroy it. All cultures are equal. Some are just more equal than others. Man who robbed Asian-owned business, shot three women, gets life gets five life sentences. Now again, it does not discuss the race of the perpetrator, which means culture's law is at play. But there's been a string of incidents for many years now of anti-Asian violence. And typically, people who look like me aren't on film committing these violent acts. But under no circumstances can I critique every single video showing who is committing these attacks. We just have to pretend that America has an anti-Asian problem. It's America as a country. It's definitely not a particular race. How dare you think that, you racist? A legacy of systematic racism. Black students, especially boys, still being suspended at far greater rates. This article specifically goes over California and how black students from kindergarten to third grade, are disproportionately suspended and expelled from school when compared to their white counterparts. We clearly don't have a cultural problem, and it has nothing to do with their actions. It's the white teachers and white principals who are racist. 
Don't even think about that their actions are getting them suspended and expelled. That's caused by their culture and how their parents raise them. Clearly, we live in a racist country. God, I love America in 2021. Let's end with a good news story. Huge amounts of lawmakers seek staff seeking therapy after Capitol Hill riots. Good. Get what you fucking deserve. And that's been your daily news, but without the libtard propaganda, I'm your host, George Verk.